Welcome back to another episode of Board Bite Size. Today, we are joined by our Chief Executive, Tracy Allen, and our Chair, Julie Holder. We have just finished this month's board meeting and stepped outside to reflect on what has been discussed today, in line with our organisational strategy themes of people at the centre, healthy communities, working in partnership, and a focus on the future. So Julie, we've just finished the August board. We've had a really full day of discussions, uh, great discussions. I don't know about you, but I'm always really tired at the end of the board day. Um, And I think, again, our discussions have um, mirrored the themes of our strategy really well. So as usual, holding people at the centre was a really core theme all day, wasn't it? Yeah, I I think there's been a lot of our discussion today around talking about some of our fragile services in terms of the impact on our patients but also staff but also we picked up in your report um, and it's also in the press around various reports about culture about the NMC, CQC, a lot coming out of there which has come as a shock and and we heard how Michelle's supporting people to actually understand the implications. The other thing that really came out was our our staff story today was absolutely incredible Um, uh, uh, even it, it was just blow us all away in terms of the personalisation, and um, we rep- we just rely on our people to make our systems and processes work. So it's been a really good day. So again, uh, we've got a real focus on how we support our communities and keep our population healthy. But we've had some good reports today to talk about, particularly about inequalities. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we've. We had a really good look at what we're doing right across the organisation on reducing health inequalities, which is a core bit of that strategic theme. And I think we've got a lot we can be proud of. We certainly noticed what amazing progress we've made in the last couple of months on understanding our data. So we can really easily now see which which groups in our communities are accessing services, which ones aren't, whether there are differential weights for different groups of, of, of people in the community. So I think we've got lots to be proud of. What we challenged ourselves about today is, right, how are we using that information in different services? We know in podiatry, in MSK, they're beginning to use that information to do things slightly differently, to try and reduce the disparity in access to services that different groups of, of a community are getting um i guess in three or four months time the board's going to want to see the so what of that and hopefully be able to demonstrate that that better data focused action is now making a difference to reduce inequalities the third of our themes around working in partnership again we had lots today didn't we not just in the formal meetings but a fantastic engagement session yeah i mean at lunchtime we had a really good engagement session just talking about team up but just seeing the journey that they've been on and what they're achieving in terms of outcomes now, that how that's leading into the work around um, the hub, uh, the navigation hub, which is going to come out of that, which is just going to be tremendous. And we've, we, we talked a lot about how we're working with the voluntary sector and the difference that they're going to make and how we're going to prioritise our activity to actually work cl- more closely with the voluntary sector i just wanted to talk about one thing actually you picked it up in your um your friday email and that was the joined up care derbyshire J- july newsletter i was really grumpy that day uh, when i woke up and i read that joined up care july newsletter and there is so much in there which commends all of the work that we're doing at dchs it was just great to read certainly brightened my day and finally, our focus on the future. We couldn't, we couldn't have gone through today without talking about the change in government, but also a lot of other things. Yeah, I mean, this is the first board meeting we've had since the, the election, isn't it? And we were just reflecting on um, the Labour government have, have started quickly with some key announcements around pay for um, public sector colleagues and the NHS. So we hope to be able to kind of um, give more details about transacting those pay deals over the next two or three months. Um, And they are really, really clearly signalling their commitments to trying to invest in and build up primary and community care, which is music to our ears. I think that, that, that positivity's got to be um, balanced with the realities that they've inherited a very tough 
fiscal environment and we're already seeing that they're going to have to make some really difficult decisions. So I don't think total resources into the NHS are going to increase magically, um, but there does seem to be a great understanding of the role that primary and community care can make to maintaining the NHS as the fantastic thing that we all believe in and then the other bit that we were looking at specifically around the future was the great progress we've made on the capital development so we've got I think my final swan song uh, before I leave will be um, starting the work in the on the groundwork at Belpa for the new community hub and we're also taking over the uh, new Bakewell hub that both you and I have visited haven't we in the last month or so but we're getting the keys to that this month and next phase of the Walton Community Diagnostic Centre is underway as well so really good stuff internally and some very positive momentum from the government um, yet to see what that translates to into next year. That's all for today's episode. Board Bite Size will be back after the next public board meeting.